Storyboard Designer has built-in animation support. This makes it quick and easy for a user to come in, describe an animation, and apply it to their user interface. In this example, I'm going to simply move the top menu layer and slide it off the screen, and then I'm going to do the exact same with the lower menu layer. So you can see me hiding and showing both these layers, so these layers will be an animated move off the screen. When it's clicked on the hide menu, I'll slide it off the screen, and when we click on the background, I'm going to slide them back on the screen since the menu system will be hidden at that point. So we start off by coming up to our animation tab, say add an animation. My first animation I'm going to create is hide menu, keep it 30 frames per second, maybe we'll make it happen over one second period. And we simply come into our new animation, we say add step. We can come find the piece we would like to move, so we're going to move the lower menu layer. And then we select on the Y value. And now we're going to move him from 0 to 100, slide him off the screen. We have different rates we can pick. We'll just stick with the ease in rate. And away we go. Now we can see our first step inside there. We'll add the next step to slide the top menu off the screen. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move the Y value. We're going to move from 0, but this time we're going to move him to negative 100 because he's sliding up. And we'll stick with the ease in rate. And then to get this to work properly, we need to bring the menu back on the screen. So we're going to create a show menu animation. Keep 30 frames per second, but we'll use one second once again. So it's moving at the same rate when we bring it on. All these values can be ch all these values can be changed later. So you can come back in, change the rate, change the timing, change the frames per second. So we come in, we add a new step to show menu. Once again, we're going to go with the lower menu, the Y. This time he's already at 100 because we slid him off the screen, so we're going to move him from 100 to 0, and we keep these in right. So now we have that. We add another step to get the top menu back out. Select top menu, the Y value. He's going to move from negative 100 where we left him to 1 to 0. Add an ease in. So now we have our two animations, hide menu and show menu, and they're both going to have two different steps inside of each one to move the top menu and the bottom menu. So now we come to the nice little hide menu button I've added here and we simply right click on him, we say add action. What's our trigger event? Our trigger event on this one is going to be a press. Our action is going to be an animation. We simply come in, we select on somebody selecting this, we're going to call the hide menu animation and finish. Now we'll add the animation to the background so that we get our menu back. So we're going to simply come in once again, add action while we're clicked on the background. I'm going to press once again, we're going to cause animation to happen, and this time we're going to select show menu. There we click finish. Now we can simply right click on our application, say simulate. Yes, we'd like to save. Our menu comes up, I come over, I click on the hide menu button, we see it slide off the screen, I click on the background, our menus come up. So this is just a quick example how you quickly and easily add animation support to your UI to give a deeper and richer feel.